Hey guys, Carolyn Banner here from Body by Banner, and um, I'm just I'm going to be doing a workout in just a little bit. I'm going to give a little quick recap um, of what I've been going over the last couple of weeks. So, so today we're going to be doing a 20 minute total body workout. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to um, let you know kind of how the last couple of weeks have been going. We um, went over last week on um, my assessment of a food diary that I've been doing, and um, and I want to just kind of give you a little recap. So first week we went over just how doing a food diary is like the first step in finding your own unique nutritional blueprint. So what a diet will work well for you um, and your specific goals. And then last week I went over, so what I did that first week was to do, um, I did. I ended up doing about three or four days I think for, of during that week, I kind of alternated days to give myself some break from it because it does take more time to do it. And then uh, last week I went over in the video just about how I use that as an assessment tool. So the first week was about awareness, like using the food diary as a way to create more awareness around how I was eating and how it was affecting me. The second week I went over specific tools and how I use that food diary to assess the, um, Sorry, there's always these things popping up at the bottom that are really distracting. Uh, so, sorry, it's hard to uh, pay attention when Facebook's sending you all these little messages. Um, so the last week I went over specific tools about how to use that information to assess where you're at nutritionally and um, find some ways to take action. So this week I've been taking action and just wanted to fill you in about that. And um, what I've found through my kind of investigation with the food diary was that um, I was just eating a lot more fat than I realized, like 50 to 55% of my total calories per day. And that is not necessarily bad or anything, but it was an eye-opening kind of realization that some of my snacks and things were, although they were healthy fats, were really adding up in calories. So the last week I was doing kind of three things, three action, action steps. One was to make effortless cuts in my fat intake. So for example, Last night we had roasted sweet potato and I didn't add any extra butter or olive oil to it, just put a little bit of sea salt on it and it was super delicious. So super effortless, still tasted amazing and wasn't wasn't a big wasn't a big change for me. It was it felt really good and still enjoyed the food. Um other examples were like just cutting back a little bit on the amount of olive oil I put on my salads and um, maybe the amount of fat I would use to cook with in terms of coconut oil or ghee that I would put in the pan. So if I would normally put in two tables, two teaspoons or three teaspoons, I would just cut it down maybe by a teaspoon. So no huge cuts, but just noticing that. Um, then the second thing, so just making like effortless cuts in my fat intake, um, just to be more mindful around that, swapping out nuts for Greek yogurt or a protein shake in the afternoon. And, um, and that was also tied in with the second one, which was prioritizing a bit more protein over fat. So again, making those swaps to a little bit higher protein instead of just eating nuts like cashews for a snack. Totally guilty of that. Um, and just, it just gave me a, a bit more sustained energy. So these have felt really good. And the third action thing was to, I noticed that I was just sort of delaying my breakfast, drinking coffee and having my Dunkle Bowls in the morning. And while totally fine, I, I just was... I was feeling like I needed to just eat because then by the time I ate breakfast I was starving and um, I was waiting to eat with Oli. So over the last uh, week there were definitely three mornings where I was able to cut out the Dunkables with my coffee and I actually felt really good. I just went straight to breakfast and um, within about within an hour of waking up instead of two or three hours of waking up and I've just been monitoring that and it's been feeling really good. So just wanted to give you an update on those three action steps I've been doing. So again, the first step was keeping the food diary. And I suggest, you know, kind of doing it for a week, but not necessarily doing every single day because it can get, um, you can get tired of it and exhausted from it. So keeping three to seven days total and, and then keep creating awareness about what you're doing. And then the second step is to assess what you were doing. To use those free tools that I gave you in the video to access, assess the amount of calories and then the breakdown of each of them of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And then to create an action plan and again continue to follow up, feel how, get a feel for how it's going for you, and um, ongoing assessment. All right, we are going to jump into um, 
So before we jump into the warm-up, I would love for you to, um, if you're jumping on live, um, to write in the comments where you're from and just type that in. And if I can't get to it, of course, when we're working out, I will love to see that later on. And even if you're not on live and you're joining in later and watching this later on, um, please do me a favor. Write in, in the comments, um, your, your, your favorite thing that you'd love to see in these live sessions. <clears throat> would you like to have more workouts? Would you like to have more information about nutrition? Or would you like more um, chats about like mindset and sort of tips on how to get your mind right about working out or about eating well? So one of those three things, pick your favorite and type it below, please, in the comments. Um, and just put in if you want more workouts, like exercise focused information, nutrition, or mindset. And I would appreciate that so much. I look forward to reading them. Um, and again, for if you're just joining in, my name is Carolyn Banner of Body by Banner. So you can find me online at carolynbanner.com where I have my blog. I'm working on a blog today actually. So keep an eye out for that. It's been a while with the move. It's been hard to keep up on that. <laughs> and um, on Facebook at bodybybanner.com or Body by Banner, and also on Instagram. One other quick little um, just kind of update for you guys is that with everything going on with our family and like the move and and just trying to find an apartment and waiting for a shipment from Argentina and starting my son in, in preschool, it's been really crazy. And um, I just had to take a good look at my schedule and our family's schedule and just the amount of stress we're going through and I've been kind of teasing and I mentioned on another video that I was going to be doing a challenge in September and I will definitely still be doing a challenge but it will be in October. I need to just give ourselves a little bit more time as a family to get settled in and um, just honor that, that, that space that we need and that time that we need for settling in. So thanks for understanding, and I am still super excited to share the details with you, but it'll be coming about three or four weeks down the road once we have a little more, a little more space in our lives, <laughs> a little less stress. So, all right, so little recap done. We are gonna jump into the warm-up. We're gonna be just doing a quick warm-up for about three or four minutes. So um, if you're doing this later on and you need a little bit more time, then please do, you can either repeat the warm up that we do, just hit pause and, and do it again, or, or do a few more things on your own. And then we're gonna go into a 20 minute workout, and I will be showing you the, the movements as we go through it. So, um, and I'll show you some modifications if you don't have weights, or if you just are starting and need a little bit of, um, a little bit of time to ramp up your game. So no worries, we will be going through all that, and um, we'll jump right into it. So hopefully we won't wake up my son from his nap. Knock on wood. <laughs> so, um, or bother my neighbor below too much with um, a few of the moves are gonna be a little bit of jumping, but we're not gonna get, get too crazy. So, all right, I am going to get started. We're gonna do, um, so we're gonna be doing 10 repetitions of a slower movement and then 20 for the warm up, and then 20 repetitions of a little more dynamic movement. So that's gonna be the, uh, the, the flow, all right? So let's get into it. So starting, I hope the angle is good for you guys and you can see me pretty well. We're going to do 10 just regular body weight squats. So coming down, getting the legs warmed up, the hips warmed up, reaching the knees forward, but making sure they're not going over the places. And I'm already losing count here. <laughs> it's really hard to count and talk at the same time. Let's do three more. Okay, coming next into butt kickers. So heel up. We're doing 20 of these, so the more dynamic ones, we're going for 20 repetitions. And I think that's about 20. Awesome, good. All right, alternating reverse lunge with a forward kick. So reverse lunge, kick it forward. Alternating, we're going to do 10 total. So again, if you're just jumping on live, we're doing the warm up now for just a couple more minutes. And then we're going to jump into a 20 minute total body workout using just one set of dumbbells and then a mat if you don't have a soft leg. Okay, two more. Okay, I'm gonna come into regular jumping jacks. Okay, one for 20. Making 
make sure those fingers touch overhead. Good, four more. Awesome. All right, classic squats. Match here a little bit. So nice wide spread with the legs coming down, bringing the fingertips down for support, and then switch sides. So my toes are feeling up. You can't see them. Get switching sides. That's three, four, five. So definitely, if you have questions, shoot them in the comments. I obviously won't be able to get to them right now, but we'll we'll get to them after. And we'll be sure to send you a response. Awesome, good job, guys. Last two. This is warming up the inner thighs and the hips. Awesome, good. Okay, another jumping jack variation. This time with the arms opening up. Warming up the chest. One for 20. Or on that, <laughs> I'm gonna keep losing count. Okay, that's about 10. Big arm circles forward for 10. I'm going to go both directions, 10 in each direction. It's a really gray, rainy, kind of sleepy day here in Chicago. And then my energy is kind of low, so I wish you guys I could see you. That would help me. One more <laughs> energized. It's always nice to be training with someone else. So I'll just imagine you there on the other side of the screen. Turn my energy up. Hopefully, once we get going, I'll feel a little more, a little more energetic. Good. Let's do five more back. And we're going to do one more variation of jumping jacks. A few more things, and then we're going to get started with the workout. These variations on the jumping jacks are good for getting the whole body warmed up and the way the arms are moving differently. Just warms up different parts of the upper body, the chest, and the shoulders. Got five more. Again, sorry I'm losing track of the count. <laughs> it's hard to talk and count at the same time. I think we got everything I wanted to cover. Cool. All right. We are going to go into, hey Becky, <laughs> um, we're going to go into the workout, and I have my interval timer here set for one minute, it's funny because I have my interval timer and it's underneath the pillow here so that it's not too loud when it beeps, because um, I know that it wakes Oli up, <laughs> so I will, I'll be able to hear it, you might not be able to hear it, so first thing, actually, I forgot to mention, you are going to probably need a stool or something to bring elevate your back foot up. I'm going to have a little um, foot stool, um, but I'll show you an option. If you don't have something handy, you can just do static lunges. So five exercises, one minute each. We're going to do four rounds for 20 minutes total. All right, so um, I will just jump into the exercises so we don't waste too much time going over all the description of it and give you some breakdowns as we go through it if you need modifications. Awesome. All right, so timer. This is in a second. Get my little stool here. <laughs> and right here. Okay, I think that should be good for you guys to see. Alright, so first one, we're gonna be picking up the weights and going to Bulgarian split squats. So grab your weights. Seeing on one side. So I'm gonna have my left foot forward, right leg foot back. Take a second to make sure your position is correct and you feel good so that when you come down. Your front knee doesn't go over your toes. Then my back knee goes straight down. So that was one rep, and then I'm going to pulse once at the bottom. One pulse, all the way up. One, all 
down for two. Now pulse two times one, two. All the way up for three, two. All the way down. That's three. Now stay low and three pulses. One, two, three. All the way up and down for four full reps. This is a chain. We're doing full reps. One more, and then we're gonna stay down for four pulses. Oh, it's so pretty. You need a rest, you can just turn like this to keep the positioning. And when you're ready, you come right back into it. One full rep, one pulse. Okay, two pull reps and then two pulses. You go up to four again, give time. All right, we're gonna move the bench out of the way. We're gonna go into something called a man maker, or we're gonna call them woman makers, since a lot of us are women doing this. <laughs> so, you're gonna have your weights at your hand. You're gonna squat down, put the weights down. Jump or step back into plank position, one push up. Knees can come down for those, one row each side. You're gonna jump forward and you're gonna clean the weights to the shoulders into a squat position and press overhead. Okay? So weights down, jump or step back, one push up, one row each side. Jump forward, weights to the shoulders, squat down. Up, squat, so bring the weights back to the floor. Jump back. Good, so once you have it, take up the tempo. <laughs> we only got three that time. So next time we're gonna try to push the tempo a little bit more. I'm not to get a few more reps in. Okay, next up, sit throughs. So come into tabletop position here. You're gonna hover so that your feet, your knees are off the mat. Toes are on the floor, tucked under, and you're gonna pivot, bring one foot through, back to center, and switch. So we'll take that. Pivot. So again, take the tempo up when you feel comfortable. Take the off leg all the way straight. <laughs> Good, core nice and strong. Arms straight as I pivot. Working the triceps and the shoulders. It's good to do these off the mat so that your foot can twist on the mat. It gets all caught up. All right, next one. You're gonna do lateral lunges with an overhead reach. Swing on one side. So right leg first. Lateral lunge down, reach. Feet together, overhead press. Reach and turn your arm so you guys can see the full movement. Okay, so big step wide, reach the glutes back, knee goes over the toes of the bending leg of the right leg. Good, core strong as you stand tall. when you need to. So you listen to your body, and you rest whenever you need to. Good. All right. We'll do the other side next round. Weights down. Oh, this is going to get your heart rate up. And hopefully not wake up any sleeping babies or bother neighbors. <laughs> so we're going to go to down dog position, and we're going to bring the feet to one side of the mat. And then we're going to bend the knees and jump over to the other side. Up and over. So try to get a little bit of air time and land just softly again. <laughs> Running out of space here. The goal is to try and get the shoulders, I'm sorry, the hips stacked as much as you can over the shoulders using the core to help drive you up. Sip of water. Cool. One round down, guys. We're going to repeat that for three more rounds. So, first one, grabbing the bench, grabbing your weights. This time, we're going to have your left leg back, or right leg back. We're going to go all the way down for one, 
one pulse all the way up and down for two. I think I didn't switch sides. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you try and switch sides each time. Good, pulsing down for three, all the way up and down for four, full reps, and then four pulses. Good, stay low for four. Go whenever you need to. Again, you can rest by just turning the leg. Yeah, I remember. I'm on the same side as the first one. It's okay. We'll do the next two rounds. We'll be opposite legs. <laughs> For one pull up, one pulse. Cool. Second exercise, going into those man makers. So try and get a little, go straight into it. Squat down, jump back, push up, row, row, jump forward, clean, just squat, overhead thrust. Okay, jump back, push up, row, row, jump forward, clean, squat, press. Keep going. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, someone's going to have to push it. This gets the whole body. Turn to face you guys this time. So again, starting in that hovering tabletop position. Get your mat out of the way. <laughs> and then pivot, kick, kick, kick. Make sure you keep the lungs open, keep breathing. when you need to. My legs are feeling quite tired in the last couple days. Lots of biking, lots of weights, which is good. Just feeling a little bit sore. All right, lateral lunge with a reach. Okay, this one I'm gonna stay on the left leg for me. Opposite leg, let's overhead. So staying on one side per round helps to get that muscle into a bit more failure point and stimulating the release of hormones that we want in the muscles. So far so good, I'm only sleeping. Let's hope he stays asleep. Get as low as you can on that lateral lunge. Reach. Off the breath. Keep right back into it when you can. All right. Last exercise for this round. I got a quick sip. I don't usually talk this much when I work out. It makes me a little more dry. Okay. Don't you get side to side. One side over to the other. Good, keep it going as long as you can with good form. Quick rest if you need it, and then jump right back in. Here we go. This one a lot. I think it's funny to see their moms jumping around. My little donkeys. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I'm tired. Give me some love on those likes if you are on live. I would love it. <laughs> Feel it like halfway through. Make sure you're switching sides each time. 
one full range of motion, one pulse, and then all the way up, all the way down for two, two pulses, all the way up and down for three, and then three pulses. Awesome. Four. If you get to four, then you start back at one. One, two, three, four. You just turn like this if you need a quick rest. And then that way you don't have to reset off the legs, positioning and everything. Okay. Man makers are next. Sorry, I didn't show you an option for that other one. I'm going quickly right now. So if you don't have something to put your foot up on, instead of going to split squats, you can do static lunges just up and down and pulse at the bottom. So same thing. So sorry, up to four and then back to one instead of the foot elevator. All right, man maker two. Push up, row, Come forward. Oops. Come on. Switching it up. Clean to squat press. Squat, press overhead. That one got cut short a little bit. All right, sit throughs. This all the way. So covering tabletop first. Get those knees off the ground. Swivel, kick through. I've learned of these originally from an awesome trainer named Jen Sinclair. So you should definitely check Jen out if you don't know her stuff already. She's great. She has a program called Lift Weights Faster, and it totally changed the way I work out. I went into it uh, probably six months after Oli was born, and it really changed way I train for the better. <laughs> cool. A lateral lunge is so trying to transition as quickly as you can. Again, my energy is pretty low today. Just didn't sleep that well last night. I feel it's really kind of heavy, gloomy weather. So seeing you guys pop on live the mic is super helpful. <laughs> Keeps me going when I'm getting tired. And again, if you're writing in the comments, if you have any questions, I can't get to them now, obviously, but I will get to them afterwards as soon as possible. Good. So push hard. Until you need to rest, and then rest to push hard again. If you're not needing to rest during the minute, probably means you're not pushing fast enough or with the heavy enough weight. Awesome. Okay, weights down. Last one for the third round will be those, oh, those side to side donkey kicks. Okay, pull that out here. So there's, here we go. Attention to where your mind goes. <laughs> I can tell my, my thoughts are getting a little negative, so really try and turn those around. Focus on what you're doing well, that you showed up, that you're doing the work to the best of your ability today. That's all we can do, right? Is just do our best. Hey, oh, thanks for that. All right, here we go. 
Bulgarian split squats. So one full rep, one pulse, working up to four of each, and then starting back at one. Good. Two full reps, two pulses, three full reps all the way up and down. Pulse at the bottom. You can do these without weight or just do static lunges without the foot elevated in the back. Good, four pulses. <laughs> back to one. Whew. On the way down, pulse once. Can't seem to get past that second one. <laughs> Okay. All right, man makers. Weights in plank position. Jump back. One push up. One row each side. Clean. Squat. Press overhead. Keep going. Push up. Row. Row. Jump forward. Clean. Squat. Press. Squat down to jump back. These are a great way to get the heart rate up and work the whole body. It's like a ramped up burpee. Finish this one. Then we're going to sit pairs. You guys run a lots around here. I know I'm feeling it. It means a lot if you're on. And you made a comment that makes, means a lot to me. Quick rest. So rest-based training. It's a metabolic effect technique. Super effective. You push until you can't, and then rest until you can push hard again. Oop. All right. Ladder lunge. So I'm going to stick on my left leg this time. So stay on one side per round. <laughs> I'm dripping sweat. It's not that hot today. It's really humid with all the rain. in yoga when you teach yoga, and I feel like I maybe did one side too many times. <laughs> maybe I did this one twice already. So the goal, and I'm doing a bad job because I'm talking and working out at the same time, the goal is to alternate sides for this and for the Bulgarian split squats. All right, you guys, one more minute. We can do it. So donkey kicks, I'm going to show you from the front. Feet are to one side, jump over to, in this case, the imaginary mat, to the other side, jump, good, jump, just do as many as you can, and then rest, until you can push hard again, so the last few seconds though, so really try and push, until that deeper goes. Here we go. Use the core. Oh, my legs are tired. Here we go. Last couple. Yes. Oh, excuse me. All right. Oh, so, totally dripping with sweat. Super glad that it only hasn't woken up, I hope. So thank you so much, you guys. Hey, Shereen. 
just seen that you joined. Um, sorry, wasn't able to say hi to people who popped on because I was a little busy. So, there you go. 20 minute workout done at home. All I needed was a set of weights. I used my heaviest weights that I have available to me right now until my other weights come from Argentina. And those are 10 pound weights. So not very heavy. Those are more medium weights for me right now. But um, those might be heavy for you or they might be light. So just find something that's medium to heavy for you right now. And if you felt like you didn't need a rest by the end of, in that minute of each exercise, then that probably indicates that you're not using a heavy enough weight or pushing the intensity, which means like the speed and the depth of the movements. Sorry, my hair's like out of control here. <laughs> super human today. So just a little recap. I um, hope that you enjoy the workout. Please um, let me know any feedback. And if you can do me a quick favor and write in the comments what you'd love to see more of. Do you want more workouts? Do you want to see me sweat? <laughs> or do you want more nutrition? Do you want more information about mindset and tips on how to live a healthy lifestyle? Um, and um, yeah, so please leave that in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And um, if you haven't already, the best way to kind of stay in touch and to get a little bit deeper into the conversation and to just be um, part of the Body by Banner community is um, to join the newsletter. So if you haven't already, I'd love for you to sign up. And um, I send one email per week on Wednesdays, won't bombard you. Um, and one last thing I mentioned it earlier, but I had been um, kind of teasing about a challenge coming up in September. And um, just want to let you know that with everything going on with our move and um, I'm starting my son in preschool and it's just crazy <laughs> going on a trip in a week. I decided to um, honor just like where our family's at right now and the amount of stress and um, just kind of chaos <laughs> that um, we're going to postpone until October, but I'm super excited. I've got some great stuff coming for you guys and i um, just really excited to share it with you and have you join in. So that's coming in October. Um, we're starting to talk about it in the end of September. So you'll be hearing about it first if you're on the newsletter and, um, and I'll be sharing on Facebook and Instagram, of course, as well. So thank you so much for being here. You guys mean so much to me and um, hope to see you soon. All right. Take care. Bye.